Oh, hey, good to see you. Everything's back the way it was. I don't even know how to thank you. Well, I decided I'll give you a hand. This old girl's hand. To help you on your quest. Is it in here? You can use my closet to store items you don't need. Come and drop off items anytime. So yeah, you can't really carry a lot of items in your pockets. So in the game, there'll be, in each village, there'll be a kind of storehouse to place your extra items and attachments. You can't also store any extra weapons, you know, just in case. So, yeah. Now I'll just take a quick look at the shop. Get a few items. Maybe sell. Maybe maybe sell off a few items. I'll be right back. Now, uh, inside here is a pocket, and what a pocket is, it's an item which, uh, allows you to carry extra items, as you can see here. You can never have enough thirst. There, now that that's done. I'll just go ahead and head back in.
Okay. I, I think I've got about just enough atlas atlas pieces to uh, finish the whole board. So, <clears throat> so you find Paige, and she needs a lamp. Now I think the next person to talk to is Carl, which is Alnit's little brother. And he needs a storage cabin. Now that I think on it, there's a place in their uh, shed where uh, there was a door there. This, that's what it was for. Ah, so that's where the last lamp goes. Then we have Dran's windmill. Hmm, doesn't look like much now. But at least now we know what these extra parts are for. I'll just put everything in. Sign, the torch, Dran's horn, and Dran's blades. Now that looks like a really fancy windmill. There. So now there are also the extra pieces, you know, to decor to decorate the village. There's trees, roads, rivers, and bridges. I'm just gonna do a little redecorating, and I'll get back to you. So we f head head to a uh, Laura and Gina's house, and as they as Tone heads in, look, look, Gina's house. It's back to normal. Impressive. I thought you were only a kid, and now look at you. I'll cook for you today. Please stay with us for the meal. Here, take this for you, Tone. And we get Dran's feather. Isn't this pretty? If you keep this, your body will become light. Set it to active item and bring your cursor over it. Hold square down as you move and you can move faster. This way, even mom will be able to catch you. So this active item will allow you, allow you to move quickly in dungeons. And by quick, I mean really quick. So now we enter Paige's house after we finished completing it. And she tells us she made a new pouch. In other words, she made an extra pocket. So now I can carry up to 70 items now. I wish you luck, Tone. Go for it. I think next up is Alnet's place. Now that I think on it, I haven't... Ah, so that's what was in it. S 
So, let's check in on him. Ah, Tone, there you are. I keep my promises. Just a moment. Hmm, I wonder what she's getting. Here, a fishing rod, as I promised. I got this from Uncle Pike, but I don't really use it. Now it's yours. Hey, don't tell Uncle Pike, okay? How to use it? I don't really know. Sorry. Aw, oh, sis, that's not fair! Didn't I tell you I always wanted that? What are you talking about? You almost drowned in the pond once, remember? I'm not allowing you to fish. It's too dangerous. What the? That's not fair. Man, now I now I kind of feel bad for accepting this. And now, last but not least, is the newly reconstructed windmill. Newly rebuilt Drans windmill. Hmm. I'll be right back. Inside the windmill, we find a plenty of attachments and the horn and a horned key. Now, uh, something you should keep in mind: each, each, each place we visit will have a special key in order to get to the last floor of a dungeon. So, for Divine Beast Cave. We find the horn key in Dran's windmill. Which will be our exit key. Oh, I'm not sure if I told you this already, but uh, in order to go into first person view, simply tap R2. And to get out, just press it again. Simple as that, really. Oh, it's already night. It's nighttime already. So. Let's take a look at the exterior. Fish candy. And a fluffy donut. Not bad. So fluffy donut increases Tone's defense, while fish candy increases Zhao's defense. So be sure to keep an eye out for those. Hmm? There's, a, there's something by the fish pond. Ooh, another one. This should increase Zhao's defense significantly. Let's see. Oh, here we are. She only has one defense. So this will definitely come in handy. There. That should even the odds a bit, I think. And with that... And with my progress saved, we're just about out of time. 
This is Mangadoo901. Until next time, everyone.